Hey guys, we're here at Gateway and we're doing a little mini on a Sunday afternoon. Here we got Matt and he's coming right off the tee and he just crushes one but it just kind of goes off to the left a little bit. Comes out a little early. Brad right up behind him, his partner. Brad supporting the Breckenridge t-shirt. Brad crushes one right down the middle. It hits a little bit off a tree as well. We got James Tossin. Doesn't take much time to warm up, and he hits a tree as well. Lots of trees today. Contagious. We got Eric. Let's see if uh, see if he can get through these trees. Got him lining up his shot, and Eric just crushes one down the middle. Tosses one up there about 15 feet out. Oh, hey, Matt. Let's see if we can get Brad a little closer there. Brad lays it right up there, and look at the hang time on that one. And Didn't look too happy about that, but that looks like a pretty good shot. Looks like Eric's going to take a different approach here. Gonna go right through the trees, kind of pancake it, pancake it right out, and he puts up a beauty of a shot, and it should be about 10 or 15 feet away. Should be able to get that from there. James could be a little bit more aggressive, try to get it right in there. Oh, and he just nails a tree right off. And here's James with a nice shot for par. Here's Brad's shot. Looks like he's going to go for it. And yeah, he has it. So we are at par after one. Hole two is kind of a fun shot. Just a ton of trees in the way. Looks like Matt slips it right through there. And Brad's pulling out the roller. Beautiful roller. Right up the middle. See if Eric can get through these trees. Yep, bombs it. Looks like he's about right there. And James with about the same shot as well. All right, we've got Brad and Matt in the woods. Matt tosses up one. Pretty much just lays it up. But Brad can be more aggressive. So he's going to go to one knee right here. See if he can put this sucker in. He's got the range to do it from here. Oh, and he just barely misses that. That's, that's too bad. He had that perfect line. Eric, good just more. Nice. Thanks. Way to go, partner. James with a huge crush. Chunks one off the tee. Looks like I might have cut a little bit of a tree there. Let's see if we can get Eric to get through this line. Uh, good shot. A little bit off to the left. Matt with his slow wind up. Kind of puts one off a little bit to the left. Kind of Case of the lefties today. Brad lines up his shot here. Big rip. Can't tell if he's happy or not. James with another big throw. See where that's at. <laughs> right. Eric's next shot. Lays it up there a little bit short. Got Matt. Got a flick one in there. Uh, he didn't look too happy about that one. Yep. 
still have a pretty good distance to cover here. Yeah, and Brad just basically parks it right under the basket. Let's see if Matt can do this chance to just be aggressive. step putt there and he parks it as well all right got Eric off in the bushes looks like this was the best shot that they can they can take it's fairly close Eric should really put this one down from this distance and it's up oh looks like it slipped just a little bit that's right we got James with the shot same spot See what you can do, James. Scoping it out. He puts it up. Oh, just rims it out. Here's another tree flooded area of the course. Got some. Got some. Massive hills in here as well. Little mounds. Matt, Matt throws up a beauty. Let's see if we can get Brad through here. Oh, a little bit high, right out of the hand. break there. Eric lining up his shot and he just floats one in there right in there probably about five feet away ten feet away. James being aggressive and he's right there as well and that should be an easy easy put in. Brad a little jump putt uh, just a little bit long See if we can get James in there. Oh, I'm sorry, Matt. Matt uh, puts it up and looks like it just kind of grip locks a little bit off to the right. Oh, and that's too bad. Don't kick the bag. There we go. Brad comes in and saves the day. Puts it down. All right, we've got lovely hole number five. It's a par five. It is a monster of a hole. Got to get it through these trees. You can get it through the trees. You're all right. But you just kind of want to kick it off, cuff to the left a little bit, through the trees, off to the left. Looks like uh, looks like we had Eric and James both get through the trees. And that's not sure, but I think Matt gets right up there as well. Um, Brad just rips one through there. All right, makes it right through. There we go. We're looking at we're looking about 500 feet here. The basket's off to the left under those trees. James just rips one to the right. Oof. Uh, that might have landed in the street. Pressure's on for Eric. He's got a good 500. He's got he's got a rip that he can he can get it across this field. Oh, and he just bombs one. And look at that thing float. Yeah, they're right there. They're there for a look. They got a chance on this one. We got Brad getting ready for his shot. He's got a good 500 feet as well. Let's see what approach he takes. Yeah, and he lines it right up there, and he bombs it as well. See what Matt can do. Matt rips one. Oh, and it's got some hang time. Yep. Matt's right there. Brad doing a little jump putt. Puts it right in the trees. There we go. Uh, about five feet out. Matt's got a good chance to be aggressive here. And pretty much parks it. James 
Bruce just kind of laying it up. It looks like he cut a little bit of a tree there. But he's still right there. He should be able to just pop it right in. Eric. Oh, I just missed a little bit to the left. There we go. We are now on hole six. Hole six is about 370 feet, if I remember right. just lays one up there that was close that was very close to being in there I got a little tree action again this is a tough one because you have to keep it so low let's see with see a little flick shot here off to the left and let's see if it cuts back in oh, it takes a great great bounce oh, it's right there it's gonna be within like a foot or two yeah and here comes Brad with his big hyzer shot hoping that he would rip one of these and lays it right up there beautiful shot ah uh, James just right there barely clips the basket Let's see if Eric can put this in there from here he's pretty much pretty much automatic yep every time birdie a monster rip on hole number seven for for James. Oh, it just catches the tree. Uh, that's all right. Get it next time. He's got his partner Eric up. And Eric with the monster arm should be able to get this right up by that tree line. Yeah, and he floats one up there very nicely. Just barely in the tree line. Should be a good shot from there. See if Matt could rip one in there. Yeah, I guess for a more straight approach, and that looks very nice. Should be a nice uh, alley right there. Oh, there we go. Brad with a big rip. He just crushes this one. That one is well in the tree line. Should do well from there. Yeah, here's a look from where Matt's shot landed. Or, I'm sorry, a look from where Brad's shot landed. And Matt parks one right up there. Love that elevated basket. Let's see if Brad can float one in there. Ah, uh, he caught a little bit of a tree there. James parks one. That's it right there. That's a great shot. Let's see if Eric can get any closer. Looks like he's going for it. Oh, that looked in for sure. Stupid tree. Brad pulling out the one near. You got uh, you like, gotta oh, be What a horrible kick out. That sucker was down for at least two seconds. Let's see if Matt can redeem. Out of point, Matt. That's how you do it. That's how you do hole seven, just like that, guys. Eric with a big rip. Let's see if we can get James a little closer there. Yeah, those both look pretty good. His shot. It's a solid shot. Let's see what Brad can do on this next shot. Yeah, that'll work. I wasn't sure whose was closer there on Matt and Brad's, but. Here's uh, here's team Matt and Brad. Brad's next shot. Oh, so close. Should be about ten feet away. Be all right. 
Matt flicks one right up there and parks it. Looks right under the basket. All right, Eric lining up his shot. He's gonna try to go over that tree. There's a great look at this basket. Oh, and it looks like it just kind of grip locks a little bit and cuts to the right more than he wanted. Wow, this is just a fantastic shot here. We have to give credit to the cameraman. You can see exactly what uh, James is seeing. And, oh, it just kind of hangs a little bit too long. It didn't cut. Another beautiful shot. And a beautiful par. James with a big rip. This isn't really a deep, deep hole, but there are definitely a lot of trees in your way. That's just kind of a good rule of thumb for Gateway, though. Eric with a nice rip. It's kind of an elevated basket as well. Some, uh, some mounds of, of earth. Looks like they've been there a few years. Ooh, that looks like a tough lie. Let's see if Brad's has got to be a little bit better. And Brad rips one, and oof, almost about, almost about the same place. That just kind of turns on one and just kind of lays it right up there, playing it pretty safe, but this opens up an opportunity for Brad to try to put it down. Oh yeah, that was close. It had the height. It's a little bit off. There's another little shot from Eric here. So he's, uh, there you go. Off in the woods. And got a couple bars. Eric with a big rip on hole number 10. <laughs> that sucker just won't stop. There we go, James. Uh, that is right out there. Yeah, just from right there will be a straight shot at the basket. Basket's up, up around the corner, hard to the right, and unfortunately we caught, a, clipped the trees right there a little bit, took some of the life out of it. Let's see if Brad can come up with his monster shots. Oh, he chunks one. And it holds really well and kind of kicks off to the left just a bit more than he wanted to. Matt laying one up. You can see the basket over there to the right a little bit, right in the middle of all those trees. So from this from this direction, that's a just a pretty straight shot. Let's see if James could spin around on one. Yep, it's right there. Should be a pretty good shot from about 10, 15 feet from there. Eric lining up his shot, and and a nice little Anheuser right up there. James from mm. 15 feet, just nails it. Mr. Automatic. All right. Nice shot right down the middle. Looks like we've got a down tree here that makes it interesting to go go through. Not too hard for these uh, seasoned pros. Matt rips one right up the middle, just skirts with, with hitting that tree. But a nice little lie. Oh! Brad nails the tree, trying to cut it down. Some maintenance. Oh, Eric just barely misses. Just barely misses on that one as well. There we go. Yep. Let's talk about some par. All right, with a big flick shot, Matt steps up to the tee. It's another par five on on Gateway. Brad steps up and rips one down the middle. 
looks like it might have cut a little bit of some trees there at the end. Eric, Eric with the deep drive, but it looks like it got up a little bit on him. Yeah, and James keeps it down, right down the center. Should be a nice little beginning point. Eric brings it around the around the bend. James turns on one as well. Brad's got a pretty straight shot there. Kind of hard to see the basket there at the end, but it kicks out a little bit at the end. Let's see if Matt can get it right through those trees. A little flicker. Oh, a little bit off to the left, a little bit high. with a big pull and puts it up there right by the basket nice shot got Matt pulling out the one knee yep he's got those down drops it right in there Let's see if Brad can get a little closer going straight through these trees it's going to be a tough it's a difficult difficult shot oh I think he catches some trees right away. James lays it right up there. Should be a real nice lay in from there. Let's see if we can get Eric to jump put one up there. Uh, and he catches a little bit of tree today. Well, that's pretty common though here at Gateway. Tree's such a huge factor out here. Brad just goes a little bit long. And this is such a pretty, pretty hole too with the sunlight shining right on that basket. Nice time of day. Nice. And the sunlight helps out because Matt drops one right in there. It's a nice slow wind up and just a big rip. So much spin on that disc. That was a pretty shot. And Brad follows up with a nice little shot there as well. James with a pretty shot. We're just getting spoiled here, guys. Right down the middle. Yeah, another, another pretty shot. Just nice and low and right down the middle, and that's a nice shot. Yeah, that leaves them up for an easy birdie. James, Mr. Automatic, has got it. Ooh, Brad just uh, missed one that he thought he should have. And Matt spits one out, and they should have had that. We're going to have to make up, a, make up a point here in the next couple, couple holes. This hole is that's such a scary line to take over there because there's a huge cliff, huge drop off, off to the right. Gotta be very careful and keep this one far to the left. Yeah, it looks like they all had the same idea. That's just such a scary throw, but uh, they all park it off to the left very nicely. You got about a 25 footer. James comes up just slightly short. Let's see if Eric can put this down. Ah, he, he was right there, but just a little bit short as well. Matt with another birdie for the team. Matt opens up this hole. Oof, a little bit of a little bit of a bad streak here for Brad. He hit a couple trees. James getting through there. Still got a uh, pretty pretty good shot from where he landed. And Eric 
Eric looks like he was just a little bit short. Looks like he was trying to bounce it in there. Skip it right in, but looks like it was just a little bit short where he plans. Brad floats one up there. Let's see if Matt can float one up there as well. And that's a oh, such a beautiful line. I'm sure that was going in if it wasn't for that tree. So we end up with a birdie and a par on that hole. Nice to see so many birdies today. Hole number 16 is 420 feet. Eric just rips a beautiful shot through there. Oh, and gets a little kick back off of a tree. Kind of worked in his favor there. James's shot is very similar to Eric's. Just kind of dies off at the end. And cuts, cuts right back onto the fairway. Just a nice shot. Matt knew it exactly when he threw that shot that it was going to hit that tree. Oh, and a bit of a bad luck here. No, wait. Wait. A beautiful shot. I thought it hit that tree and kicked to the right, but it actually hit that tree and hit another tree, I think. Kept bouncing up the, the fairway. That was a nice shot. Looks like Eric's Clip the basket a little bit there. I think that was right on the basket. Alright, see if Matt can sink this one. Uh, it's just got a beautiful shot. Just didn't go down that time. Brad puts it right up into the tree and um, says hello in his own way. Eric with a good 25 footer. Alright. Got James open up hole number 17. Another par 3 on this course. Eric bringing out the flick shot. Rips one right up and to the left. Looks like we got another flicker here. And. That one stays pretty straight. It doesn't doesn't uh, spin out to the left. Brad, unfortunately, taking a little shot off to the right there. All right, we got Eric with probably about a 30, 40 footer. Looks like he might go with a jump putt. And he's got the range for it, just a little bit off. James with a big rainbow shot and puts it right there. And Matt chips it in for birdie. Alright, that brings us to the last hole on this course. Here at Gateway Park 2012. And this basket is just up by those trees and off to the right a little bit. Right behind the big the big uh, bunch of trees off to the right. And Eric, Eric chunks one up there, and that's a good shot. Uh, looks like James is a little off to the right. Let's see if it cuts back. Uh, it cuts back, cuts back fairly well, but he, bet he'd like it off to the left a little bit more. James breaks out the roller. See you later. Right around the corner. Eric practicing his uh, warming up for his big flick shot. Flicks it and catches a tree. Brad spinning around on one. And that's going to be a nice lead for them. We're all tied up at this point. Let's see if Eric can put one down. Oh, and he just barely misses. James to save the day. Uh, he had it. Matt drops the birdie. Well, that kind of concludes our gateway video. Uh, this is my first video to, to videotape and my first video that I did the commentary on. So, thanks for watching.